Good morning. Welcome to the WEX Wake Up for Wednesday, February 7th. I'm Christy Matino. The House GOP is planning a second Mayorkas impeachment vote after the Homeland Security Secretary narrowly avoided being indicted by the House Tuesday night. Lawmakers voted by a slim margin of 214 to 216 to reject the articles of impeachment against Mayorkas. Republican representatives Mike Gallagher, Tom McClintock, Blake Moore and Ken Buck voted no along with all Democrats. But after the vote, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene said they expect leadership to bring the resolution back to the floor for a vote sometime next week. We have a plan in place. There was a motion to recommit, uh, and that means that we can bring the articles of, of impeachment back to the floor maybe as early as next week. So this is not over yet. And in another blow to House Speaker Mike Johnson, the House failed to pass a standalone Israel aid bill. Now, the legislation would have provided billions in military assistance to Israel and the U.S. forces in the region, with lawmakers on both sides voting against the measure. The bill came up short with 250 lawmakers voting yes and 180 voting against it. Now, in a letter to colleagues over the weekend, Johnson said the Israel legislation would send $17.6 billion to the country, which came as Senate negotiators unveiled a deal on a bill that would fund Israel, Ukraine, the Indo-Pacific and border security. Well, that has now stalled in the upper chamber and was already declared dead on arrival in the House. Johnson told reporters ahead of that vote Tuesday that if the bill failed, he plans to bring it up next week under a process that only requires a simple majority. And President Joe Biden went after congressional Republicans on Tuesday for threatening to block his joint border security and Ukraine aid legislation. Our Hasten Willis has more on his message to Republicans. The bipartisan border deal appears to be on life support at best, but President Biden is still fighting for its survival. Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine, to make it clear to the American people that you work for them, not for anyone else. Even if the deal passes the Senate, the top four Republicans in the House have issued a joint statement saying the deal is a waste of time. At the White House, I'm Hasten Willis for the Washington Examiner. Thanks for joining us this morning on the Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media. So you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.